this is Fred Rezac at CM Trading. Today is October 12th, 2018, and today is Friday morning. No news scheduled for today, but lots happening in the markets, and let's take a look before we do. Just a few points to raise. Number one, have we hit a soft landing for the Dow Jones and other indices? We'll take a look at that. And gold and euro finally rally. And number three, I'll do a little bit of a synopsis of why we sold off so much this week and what can we expect moving forward into next week. Okay, so a few questions to answer here, but let's take a look at the market, see what's been happening. So we're looking at a one-hour chart in the EURUSD, and we finally got that rally we were looking for. And, you know, playing a little bit of catch up to the GBP and the Aussie US dollar, we're above 116 here. Uh, nice little rally that we've continued, a nice little um trend on the upside okay uh the it looks like it's exasperating itself at these levels okay so just be aware of that that there is a little bit of a resistance here at 116 12 ish level so just be aware of that okay now gbp usd not doing as well okay rallying but stopping that rally here at this area of 132 okay so we may see a sell-off here okay in response to this nice rally that we've had until now aussie usd as well has a double top right there okay so that would actually look like a decent place to actually short it okay um in anticipation there'll be a correction on the downside now finally gold did rally we're taking a look at that look at that nice spike yesterday this is more on fear concerns um the market rallied this week for several reasons so we'll answer both questions right now number one um interest rates okay they're going up in the united states uh treasury bond yield rates are going higher and as such it's costing people more money to borrow money okay and that's usually something that is a catalyst to you know curtail the growth of a hot economy okay which is what we're experiencing right now so you know some people said okay is this going to be the beginning of a recession i don't think it's going to be a beginning of a recession because the stock market and the markets the economic market in the united states it's still very strong. It's not like the case we had in 2008 or 2001, where the markets completely shifted and you felt the softening of the market right then and there. So, you know, this is something that is indicative of a bull market where we have a significant retracement. But just keep in mind, we went from 18,000 in November 2016, which is exactly two years from now, um, to 27,000. Okay. That's over. 9,000 points in the Dow Jones. The Dow Jones has not gone 9,000 point in its history in such a short period of time, okay? So the fact that we've retraced about 2,000 points, it's normal, okay? People taking their uh, profits, booking some of their profits, you know, especially fund managers, and everything gets exasperated uh, because we're trading, most of us are trading on algos, mutual funds, etc. You know, once there's a little bit of a sell-off, you know, we didn't start selling off a thousand points. We started selling off 400 points, and then it just, you know, snowballed from there. So that snowball effect is very indicative of today's type of trading because most of the systems are software that is trading the system. So, you know, with those two elements, you know, with the markets kind of being curtailed by the Fed and the fact that, you know, a lot of algo uh, type of trading systems are actually trading the markets kind of aggravates the situation. So those are the two aspects by it. Now jumping into the Dow Jones, you could see that massive nosedive. Now you know another two things that I want to point out is that we are in the fall of the year. Okay, between September and November is usually the biggest sell-off months of history in the Dow Jones. If we look at even going back to 1982, okay, Black Monday. I'm going back to 2001 and especially 2008, okay, those were the major sell-offs of the market, okay? So in my lifetime, those were the three major experiences that we saw, and we've seen it once again in October, okay? So we've sold off this sharply. What's going to happen next, okay? What is going to happen next, what I do anticipate is that, you know, we're going to hold this level. At 25,000, okay, we're trading around, right now 25,407. I do expect a bounce, okay? It might not happen today, it might not happen, you know, on Monday, but I do expect a bounce, okay? Um, in fact, um, one of the aspects that I think we're going to do is we're going to hold this area at 25,000, okay? In case we don't, 
we still have several support levels of 24,900-ish level, 24,670-ish level. So we do have several supports. Now, I do think that we'll be trading within a tighter range, okay, for a little while until we see the markets kind of settle, okay, and some of the stocks actually uh, give us corporate earnings that are a little bit more positive, okay? So that's going to happen between November and, and December, I believe. But for right now, I do think that we may have this nice little bounce. Now, we've bounced already 400 points, okay? So we're really essentially just 1,000 points down for almost our regular all-time highs of the year, okay? Uh, so with that said, okay, um, our next real resistance level is... 25,795, let's see if we do get to that level, okay? But definitely pay attention to this level because if it doesn't break out higher, we may see it just trade within these two ranges. I do expect a lot more volatility. The VIX is, you know, selling off a little bit right now. So you could see that the markets are kind of settling. Jumping into the DAX, same story. We're trading here at 11,486 on a weekly calendar, but you could see that we've bounced off of it, okay? Now jumping into the NASDAQ, still very strong, okay? strong in terms of you know we're at we we pretty much touch a a baseline here at 69.53 selling off a thousand points now the nasdaq did sell off much more sharply than the dow jones relative to its size so with that said that's something to consider as we go into today now amazon's the real one to look at 1720 sold off all the way to 1680 Okay, that's over a $1,200 move on the downside. Okay, you want to talk about a bad day for you? Jeff Bezos had a really bad day that day. Okay, um, consolidating here at the 1720. So, again, I'm looking for some direction in the markets. I'll be looking for the banks, JP Morgan, some of the larger banks to see any direction, any sort of bounce. Now, and what is striking is that Apple is weak here. Okay, Apple's trading at 214 and right on its bottom. So it might be challenging that bottom once again before the market opens. And we'll take a look at that later today. So this is Fred Razak. I want to wish you guys a great trading day. Just be sure, again, to take it easy on the size because it is and do expect it to be volatile. Have a beautiful weekend. Thank you.